What's up everybody? Back with another fair shake reaction. And you guys probably all got to see Miko's review of this very project. Um and um I actually have not watched that um yet because I wanted this reaction to have no preconceived notions, just with the typical knowledge I usually go into these with, which is the title track. Um, so yeah, I checked out the music video for Bambi, and I was like, wow, this video is kind of cool. I don't necessarily get how it all ties in, um, and I guess we're just kind of tying in a lot of Disney, references in this Bambi thing I don't I'm not 100% not sure but if this is some great R&B is what I'm feeling but anyway uh, we got six tracks here to check out so let us go ahead and get into it shall we let's switch it over and and maybe even fix the there you go there you go um, and love scenes, scenes the, the first track, track. Let's, let's go, go. Digging the vibe so far. Oh, 
like this dude listens to Neo Soul or something, dog, the way. to say just to enjoy this vibe like seriously
that dude sang it, bro. This, that's all I got. Dude sang it, bro. Let me talk to you, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't even hit the note. Ah, too high. See how amusement park is here. I like this little vamp they got here with the piano. Okay. At least uh, this one's a little more mid tempo. I guess all I got was kind of mid tempo as well. SM artists and vocal layering always a constant. Came back in real nice. That real nice thick bass guitar, man. like the extra synth chords that are kind of almost organ-like in nature. I was about to say how the how the vocal melody very plays a lot with the amusement park kind of feel. And stuff like that. The real up and down nature of it all. Alright, so this, I like it, but surprisingly, I think I like it less than Love Scene, which I feel does less musically interesting things. I just thought maybe it's just the, the vibe that Love Scene gives me is one I can enjoy a little bit more than Amusement Park, surprisingly. Now for privacy. Okay. We got some, I think there's some side chaining in there too. Not expect this. What a switch up.
없는 이 모습에 난더 강아지 처럼 안기네 You make me feel so damn cozy 네가 내 주식 시간이야 영화에서 나 봤던 that's really interesting because they this what they did is they switched from like this piano played bass like to an actual fingered bass guitar and now they went back to like this programmed bass line that you can just play on a midi keyboard this switch up was so weird and bonkers but i like it See, now they're back to an actual bass guitar. More bass guitar. Very, very interesting track. I enjoyed it. I think it ended weird though. Now cry for love. Switch from the falsetto to the full voice right there. A lot of impact. string embellishment they had even if it's just like a sample thing which I think it was Nice. That was a perfect transition. Like through the voice. Straight into the. Uh, I'd have to practice that one. Ending strong. I like the harmony in that one. He's a great singer. This is not necessarily what you what you would call hard music. The the songs are beautiful. <laughs> is basically what I'm trying to say. I like it. Like he he you he, like if if it wasn't already apparent when I listened to the Candy Project, like this show is for sure. He's really into like 
the R&B sound. Like I, I hear a lot of like 2000s R&B influence in here, even neo soul stuff, which why like, like right now in my brain, I'm fighting between saying all I got or cry for love is my favorite track on here because both of them are like really really good like a lot of the vocals of cry for love is just like yes but also just the vibe like the like the <laughs> kind of like almost like the uh, anthony hamilton raheem devon kind of vibe i get from all i got with that just that straight up neo soul kind of feel with the the, the nice shuffle um in the beat and like that that vibe i i don't hear a lot of um and no and day to day but it brings me back to when i used to listen to a lot of that uh it was yeah i think all i got like like my my favorite cry for love's a very very close second because the vocals were crazy on that junk and uh, and as mentioned before i think amusement park is probably gonna end up being my least favorite track on the whole project um maybe it's just because i've heard a lot of like amusement park carnival kind of themed songs that it like it doesn't explore that sound in a way that that um makes me say "Ooh, this is completely different and and so yeah it's probably why it's my least favorite but it's still a good song um and I would definitely listen to it again. It just doesn't make me say, ooh, that's like completely new take on this kind of theme. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Make Young's pretty dope. Um, hopefully it's time doing his military service coming up next month, it goes well. Um, as I'll be in there for what, what is it, 18 months? Like a year and a half or something? That you, they're supposed to have military duty or whatever it is but yeah i dig i dug this um and now i can't wait to check out what miko thought um but if you haven't already checked it out you can check it out right here on the channel or um on muddy cult which is where you can also find more wonderful um reviews and reactions from us um so yeah until next time much love peace peace and tell me what you guys thought of this project, too. I didn't say that. Thanks.